Welcome back to my channel. My name is Shay Renee, and I will be reading and reacting to Am I the Asshole stories from Reddit.com. Me, 23-year-old female, boyfriend, 24 male, didn't want to pay $200 to save my life. I was at a bar with my boyfriend and his friends a while ago. We all had a great time dancing on tables, singing, and drinking. I remember feeling totally fine one second, and the next I got very unsteady, and I lost connection with my body. I got confused and scared, but then just so calm. It was all types of weird. This is seconds here, and there I remember most things that happened doesn't exist in my memory. That's interesting. Sounding a little crazy already. <laughs> I became unconscious, and according to my boyfriend, the few times I opened my eyes, they looked very scared. He was told to get a taxi and get me to the emergency room fast. He managed to get me into the taxi, and it started to drive. My boyfriend told me that during the drive, the driver told him that he would have to pay $200 extra if I threw up. Then my boyfriend said, F no, stopped the driver and wanted to walk to the emergency room. I was still unconscious and he didn't know why or if my life was at risk. Wow. Imagine somebody say, oh, 200. Oh, well, hell no. I can't imagine. All right, cool, cool, cool. Luckily for him, the police was driving around and saw me laying on the bed. They asked him what's up and drove us to the emergency room with blue lights on and fast. They took it very seriously. And without them, my boyfriend would have been lucky to even get me to the emergency room. Turns out I got drugged that night. Whoa. It got worse. As he forced me to walk with shaky legs from the emergency room the day after, a walk that should have been 20 minutes took me two hours. Even started talking about the fact he could have gotten drugged too and that maybe he got a little drugged. Why are y'all like this? Why are y'all like this? It's, it's a certain type of person out there. That when they know they're wrong, instead of just acknowledging like, damn, I messed up. It's kind of like, what well, could have happened to me too? Were you unconscious, my dear sir? Did you have to be helped to walk? You did not. I feel bad for her. This is kind of crazy. Even though he didn't feel weird at all that night. Exactly. Then he started to talk about him paying the taxi $40 for the little... Wait, I'm sorry. Then he started to talk about him paying the taxi $40 for the little drive and how much that was. Like he wanted me to pay him back or something. He constantly stated that it was $40 and how sick that was. That's the normal price around here. Ma'am, this is not your boyfriend. This is not your friend. Your life was on the line. And he's thinking about the $40 that he paid to go a couple of minutes before he made y'all jump out the taxi. And then made you walk home the next day. He looked up symptoms related to being drugged and found that long-term symptoms will most likely be trauma. The next weekend, I had to be with his friends again and some people I didn't know. They talked about that night and even made a joke a little around me being drugged. Not a lot, but I felt awful. She says she's 23. She's 23. He's 24. Young lady. How long ago was this? Young lady. These are not your friends. That is not your man. You need to cut them off. And respectfully, who drugged you? Let's keep it a buck. Who drugged you? The closest people to you are the people that's sitting in the room with you right now. And you're concerned about who the, the jokes that they're making when you should be thinking about who drugged you. He also ignored me once when I said someone was following me. He was never scared of letting me walk, walk around in town at night. But if a female friend did it, then he would have followed with her. He argues when I'm scared instead of making me feel better or protecting me. Other than that, he's a kind man and doesn't want me to want to hurt people. But OK. Ladies, we got to stop doing that. Like. Nobody's perfect. No one, you know. Not a soul on this planet is perfect. Understood. But when someone shows you that they don't give a damn about you, you must believe it. You understand? Maya Angelou said, hold on. When someone shows you who they are, believe them. But that's what she said. And oftentimes when we're young, male and female, 
we believe what we want. We believe the potential. We believe that this person is our happiness because of a couple giggles and a couple, you know, dates or whatever. But when somebody shows you that they don't care about you, you must believe them. There is no way in the world that your life was on the line and that man did not want to pay 40 to $200. He could have found it. He could have asked his parents for it. He, all of the friends that he was with, he could have gathered up the money. I can't imagine being in a life-threatening situation. And the guy that I'm with refuses to come up with the money to, just to get me to the hospital. Even if you asked it back, ask for it back afterwards. The fact that you couldn't muster up the money to get me to the hospital in a, in, when I'm obviously unconscious is crazy. Now, by the grace of God, the police were right there and they took you faster than maybe the taxi cab came. So that we're going to let that slide for a second. But now it's the next day. And on the next day, you guys took two hours to walk back to wherever you guys live. Not only that, you're in a room full of people after being drugged. The first thing in your mind should have been who the hell drugged you. And to more, I maybe need I may need more context, but to moi, one of those people is in that room if it ain't your boyfriend. Cause how the hell? How was somebody able to put something in your drink other than the group of people that you was with? I'm confused. But all right. Not only that. They're making jokes about you getting drugged. You shouldn't even be worrying about the 200. The 200 is crazy, but that's not the craziest thing I heard. We're going to continue. Oh, hold on. I completely ignored this. He also ignored me once when I said someone was following me. He was never scared of letting me walk around in town at night. But if females friends did it, then he would have followed her. Ma'am, he don't like you. He don't care about you. He, you know, this is not your man. He's for the streets. Other than that, he's a kind man that doesn't want to hurt people, but like this cannot be normal. Is this relationship worth it? Absolutely not. I'm scared I'm overreacting, but keep in mind that most of this is told from his perspective as I don't remember that night. Overreacting about what? What you do remember is waking up in a hospital. What you do remember is being at a club and then waking up in a hospital. And if he has the balls to tell you like, yo, I was not paying that $200. I'm confused. Why would he tell you that if it ain't true? To make himself sound crazy? Anyway, edit. I forgot to say that I asked him what he would have done differently if this happened today and paying the taxi was not on the list. Well, edit too. I said it in the comments, but it's difficult to even see it at this point. I just have to say that he did call for an ambulance, but they didn't come. According to him, it was one of the first things he did, but he told them I was conscious, so they didn't feel the need to come. An ambulance is basically free here, meaning it would have saved him some money. He would have no reason not to call. This is obviously not America. Because an ambulance is not free here. So I can't really speak on it. Because when you call 911, even the fire department is going to come. Bars, no bars. <laughs> so this part I don't understand, but whatever. Some people also said that I should have paid him back for the taxi. I, uh, I'm not paying you for nothing. And I agree based on the information I gave you, but I was the one that paid for drinks that night and I spent a lot more than $40 on him. I spent a total of $176 to be exact. I, I don't like this relationship for you because when it gets to the point where we're counting each other's pockets when we're spending on each other, it's kind of crazy. Now, granted, it's something that we may do subconsciously, especially when the relationship is uneven. But if we're doing it, that means the relationship is uneven. So I this is not a relationship for you, my love. Get out of it immediately. Edit three. I also want to say thank you for all your feedback. It feels both awful and good having my feelings validated. In a way, I wanted you guys to tell me what was I overreacting. No! And that he really tried his best. She's 23. Seeing that you also find this situation a little f***ed up makes me feel less crazy, though. Ha ha. And yeah, I'll dump him. I think it was the best for both of us. I'll dump him, meaning you didn't do it yet. I think it will be the best for both of us. You didn't dump him. You're 23. You didn't dump him. Is this really, we're going to read the comments. I pretty much said how I felt. This is beyond me. I mean, I get the point of her saying like she was unconscious. She doesn't really remember everything. So everything that we're talking about is basically from his perspective. He's the one that said he didn't want to pay the $200. He's the one that said that um 
he called the ambulance. He's the one that said that he did all of these things to make sure that she was okay. He's the one that that is saying that they had to walk two hours home. He's the one telling the story. However, my thing is, if you're telling this story, I would make myself sound like Superman. I would make I would make it sound like I did everything I can to make sure that you are okay. This man did not do that. That means he did not care to even do that. Even if he completely lied. You that means you didn't even care. I can be dragging it. And down in the comments, tell me if I'm dragging it. You didn't even care that you that what you did made you look bad. Which means you don't care about this girl. Somebody tell me I'm tripping. Tell me that I'm tripping. If if I know for a fact that you didn't remember, and I'm not saying that I would actually do this, but I'm saying as a 24-year-old male that is in a situation, if you now have to tell the story of what happened, why on earth would you tell the story in a in a way that makes you look like a horrible human being? You don't even care that you put her in the position that you put her in. Tell me if I'm tripping in the comments. Let me know. That's how I see it. You don't even care. I hope you broke up with him. You said I'll break up with him. I don't believe you for a second. Let's put it this way. I've done more to help a passed out stranger than your boyfriend did to help you. That's what I'm saying. Like, what are you talking about? Am I overreacting? Ma'am, you got drugged. How on earth did you? This, this can't be the States. Because how were you drugged, taken to the hospital? The police should have been there. Because now you got drugged. The police should have been there. But he took you home. Ma'am, he drugged you. That doesn't even make sense. Whatever. I, I'm confused. She's 23 years old. She didn't break up with him. I hope you see this. This week, I met my now husband. I got drugged at the bar where I'd gone to see a drag show with some coworkers. I let my guard down because I thought I was safe, given the atmosphere. All right. I had met my husband less than a week before this. He didn't go out with us this night. But as I unknowingly texted him in the early morning hours, he became concerned with how I seemed off. He called off work, losing money, and his hourly rate would have equaled a couple hundreds too. Came to my hotel room. By the way, my work adventure had me out of state for a few weeks, so I had no one. I had no one I knew well near me. And he convinced me to go to the hospital. I remember nothing of this except a brief glimpse of me walking out to meet him at the car. And then the next thing in the hospital room. Not only did he stay by me through the hospital visit and the vomiting from the just in case meds approximately six days after we met. But he also drove me back to the hotel, kept, kept watch over me and encouraged me to try to eat food he paid for we were essentially strangers. He says he has never once complained about any of that. So ditch the boyfriend is what I'm saying. Let me go back to my Angelo. When someone shows you who they are, believe them. That's all I got. Stop letting people, men and women, tell you multiple times that they do not care about you and they do not want you. You were in an environment where you got drugs. You were with your man and his friends. So I'm assuming by what you said that you were the only female in a group of men and you got drugs. And you're sitting here asking the people of the United States of America if you are overreacting to when you could have lost your life due to the, to, due to the drugs that were in your system. And your man did not want to pay $200 after you've paid all damn near two hundred dollars on alcohol he didn't want to pay two hundred dollars on a taxi okay fine the police came by and the police took you to the hospital now that you have gotten out of the hospital you had to walk two hours back because your man did not want to put money up for a taxi to go back to his home then you get home then you're around the same group of people that you were with the night that you were drugs and not only do they show no compassion, but they make jokes about you being in the situation that you were in. Not only that, you've also put in the text that your boyfriend doesn't give a damn if you walk alone at night. Doesn't give a damn to be there when you complain about your mis your your discomfort or anything. Ma'am, I hope you broke up with him. But the fact that you're 23 years old tells me that you did not. We're going to look for one last comment and I am over this. I'm so over this. I, it hurts. And it's sad and it's scary to be with a group of people that you're essentially comfortable with and end up in a hospital and those group of people treat it like it's a damn joke. I can't imagine. I really can't imagine. I'm looking for one more comment, but I feel like we're all going to say the same thing. So maybe it's not necessary. 
that is all that I have for you today. Please let me know what you think of this one down in the comments. This one was kind of crazy, but for me, it was pretty direct. It was nothing really to even think about. Um, again, my name is Shay Renee. I was reading the Am I the Asshole stories from reddit.com. Again, leave me your thoughts in the comments and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.